Hi, my name is Ronnie Cruz. After almost two decades as a career network marketer, I realized that despite continual work on my personal and professional development, that I had hit a massive brick wall. So I took a deep and honest look at myself, top to bottom, hoping to find answers. And my search led me to one conclusion. The definitions I held of my business, of my world, of my life, were the very things holding me back. If I wanted to change, if I wanted to grow beyond my current circumstances, I had to wipe the slate clean and redefine. This show is dedicated to helping you identify the belief systems, the mindsets, the very definitions that have held you back, and then help you break through those limitations to finally create the life you've been working so hard to achieve. Welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to share a story with you from a dear friend of mine I, uh, who, yeah, I just recently had a conversation with. It, it had been a while. It's it'd been a handful, well, more than a handful of months, really, since we'd actually talked, um, uh, you know, ex- exchanged texts here and there and messages, but never actually ha- haven't ha- had, a, had a good sit down conversation with this uh, individual in a while. Um, and uh, so it was nice. Uh, you know, that's the first thing. Uh, if, if there are somebody on your mind, and I, I have to really get better at this, um, if there's somebody on your mind that, uh, that you haven't reached out to in a while, just reach out, send even just a text, because um, you never know what difference it would make. And that's the topic for today. Um, as it relates to content, too, I'll, I'll tie it into content creation and publishing. But you, you never know, you never know whose day you'll make by reaching out, right? You never know the impact. Um, so the story goes like this. He, he was, uh, uh, conveying to me how um, back when he was like 15 years old, he was having a really bad day after coming out of a, you know, a basketball, no, a track, a track meet. Um, and his family had decided to stop through Hershey um, on their way back home, right? It was, you know, it was a, a interstate kind of a competition. Uh, so driving back home, but back up north, they decided to go through Hershey and stop in Hershey Park. And again, um, my friend was really having a tough time because he, he did poorly. Um, well, he didn't. It's not that he did poorly, but uh, but he was out out competed. Right. The the level of uh, competition was really high at this particular event. And so he was feeling really bad about himself and and feeling really crummy. And and he was not enjoying his experience at Hershey Park at all. So. He, yeah, he was just kind of moping around and, and he found himself um, in the middle of the day he's sitting on one of the benches in the park and a little girl sat beside him, maybe close to the same age, maybe a little younger, um, just sat beside him and, and, you know, looked at him and, and they made eye contact and she just, uh, I guess, gave the warmest, brightest smile and that absolutely turned his day around, turned his entire trip around. And in fact, uh, as I'll explain, it turned his entire life around. Uh, the, The fact that this little girl, this complete stranger, was so open and willing to just give him a smile really, really brightened his day. And he realized from then, then on how big a difference it makes to just smile at people. Right to to smile at people and to purposefully and intentionally brighten their day, no matter who they are, no matter what you know, whether you know them or not, just smiling at perfect strangers can make a huge impact. So that that principle has stayed with him for his entire life, and it's it's been a practice of his um, ever since. I mean, that was I, what are we? We're 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 in our late forties. I won't be specific, but <laughs> we're in our late forties now. So that was over over thirty years ago, right? Over thirty years ago. But it's still to this day something that he does and intentionally um, carries with him every day when he interacts with people as a result of that one little interaction. I mean, who knows how long it was, like two, three minutes tops. So that little gesture from this little girl had a tremendous impact on his life moving forward that he's carried that principle with him and that practice with him throughout his entire life. Now, the next level of impact is is absolutely uh, mind-boggling um, in that because he does this every day, um, because he's carried that with him ever since, not only is he a more cheerful, 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 excuse me, cheerful person to interact with, um, but he, that 
reverberation, that, that simple act from the little girl has reverberated um, beyond herself. It's reverberated to everyone that, that my friend encounters moving forward. And, and, you know, yeah, to this day and then moving forward from here on out. Right. So it's 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 crazy. The ripple effect of of any piece of well, of, of any interaction that you might have the, the 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 truly profound and deep impact that we all make and that we all we, we actually don't understand or even recognize that we make. Right. How you show up. Um, with any interaction, and this is, the, I'll, again, I'll tie this to content creation, but how you show up in, enter, in any interaction makes an impact. Um, whether it's a positive or, or negative impact, it makes an impact. And that impact reverberates um, through, through, well, yeah, through all of humanity because there, there's, that, there's that level of connection and that ripple effect, right? Um, so being really intentional and purposeful with how you show up can really make a difference to brightening up the world. My friend and I were also talking about how we're still coming out of the pandemic and the results, and we have no idea actually how deeply it has impacted all our lives in a very like challenging and difficult way. Something as simple as a smile to a stranger, a real and genuine smile to a stranger can can make a huge difference in in helping us cope with the thing with these these traumas that we've been through through the last couple of years right and so to tie that with content creation and publishing it's all about how you show up right if you show up wanting to make a difference if you if you show up wanting to make an imp- impact and providing value and 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 doing the work to get better at showing up then that's going to reverberate and that's going to have a profound ripple effect it really will. That's how important this is. This isn't just, you know, a dancing trend on TikTok, which not to take away from that because that has tremendous impact in brightening people's day, mind you, right? And that's why I love those dance trends. People might be saying, uh, rolling their eyes at those things. Oh, it's just another dance trend, doesn't that? If a dance trend can get the entire world's population dancing and moving and enjoying movement, that's that's tremendous, right? A, a, a worldwide dance is amazing, right? So recognize that impact for what it is. How you show up with your content, if you're, is is the impact that you're going to make, right? And so, with with the thought in in mind, we really should work harder and harder towards being purposeful and impactful with the um, with how we show up with the content that we produce and and publish online, because. Whether it's intentional or not, you're making an impact. And, and, and that piece of content that you've posted is going to have a ripple effect. Yeah, you know, some, some content has a broader and, and, and vaster ripple effect than others, but it's going to have a ripple effect regardless. Um, so, you know, be really mindful of that. You're showing up on a platform that has a potential reach of millions and millions uh, of people. And, and if you're not intentional with how you're showing up with that content, then yeah, well, you're, it, the the impact that you make is is well, it's going to be random at best, right? It's going to be random at best. We have within our the palm of our literal the literal palm of our hands the ability to to impact the world for the better, and, and you know I I hope that this message gets to you in a way that um, you can be more purposeful with that impact. Right and intentional with that impact. So that's my message for you, for you today. I, I really wanted to share how every little thing that you do um, makes a difference. And showing up, giving somebody a simple smile, it can change the world. It could change the world. So that's it. That's it for today. More from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.